everybody. So today I'm doing a routine nest check of my bluebird house. This is my Gilbertson bluebird house. I've done some videos in the past about it. And a couple of things that are a little bit disturbing to me is under the bluebird house, I found this bluebird egg. If you look right there, to me it looks like something pecked that egg. I'm not real sure, but that's just what it looks like to me. I've never found an egg on the ground. Um, but anyway, I found that, so that was a little bit troubling. I went to check the house. Hopefully you're going to be able to see this okay. But as I look in there, there's four eggs. Three of them are bluebird eggs. One of them is a brown-headed cowbird egg. And so I posted on a forum and I got a bunch of different feedback and uh, a lot of people getting kind of heated about it. Some people said take the brown-headed cowbird egg out of the nest. Some people said leave it be. Some people said it's against the law to take it out of the nest. Some people said it's not. Um, so I thought maybe it might be beneficial. I'm not saying this is the right thing to do, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the egg in. I'm going to uh, let everything just happen naturally, but I'm going to document what happens for me. And maybe you can use that for your bluebird nest if this ever happens to you in the future. Basically one day later, nothing's changed. Still three bluebird eggs and one brown-headed cowbird egg. Let's check the progress of our eggs and pretty dark, but there's no change. Day four, no change. So after 13 days, just to give you an update, the bluebird is the first one to hatch. Um, I'm gonna put this back up, because I don't wanna be out here too long, since I've got a baby. So. I had read where the brown uh, cowbird egg will be the first to hatch. That's not true in my case. It was the bluebird. And uh, we'll keep checking progress, see what happens. Hey everybody, so I'm doing one more nest check. Let's see what's going on. And my baby's getting pretty big, actually. Uh, still to this date, it is the only egg that's hatched. The, um, brown-headed cowbird egg is still in there and the bluebird eggs are still in there and none of them hatched other than this one uh, baby and it's doing fine so I'm gonna put it back and we'll continue to check the progress day 14 he should be about ready to fledge but he's still in there just chilling uh, he's not ready to leave yet we'll check on him tomorrow and and see what's going on Okay, so it's been 16 days since my eggs hatched, and I've got a bluebird here. He's thinking about leaving. He just hasn't quite figured out how to go, but today he should be fledging. And once he leaves, um, we'll take a look at the eggs in there and see what the status is of the other eggs that never hatched. Okay, so my baby bluebird just fledged, and he is gone. So I'm looking in the nest to see basically what's still in there. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Maybe somebody who's watching this video has got more experience with this can, can help identify what we're looking at. But there's still two bluebird eggs that never hatched. Um, the other thing, I can't really tell. I can zoom in with my camera here a little bit. I can't tell if that's the brown-headed cowbird egg that hatched and didn't make it. I can't tell if uh, maybe the bluebird... Uh, pecked it and um, made it to where it wouldn't hatch. I don't know what that is. Um, kind of interesting though. Again, this is my first experience with this. So if you've got any feedback or if you know what happened, I'd really appreciate it. Maybe the other people watching this video would appreciate it. But anyway, that's going to be the conclusion of uh, my situation with uh, my first situation with the brown-headed cowbird in my bluebird nest. I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.